Hello everyone, um, this is Joe Kelly. Today I'm going to be um, giving the second video, second series of lives um, in the series about COVID and um, what's happening for you as an actor, what's going to happen to you as an actor, what you can do, etc, etc. And so today with me, I have a bunch of pretty ladies. These we have Margaret, a pretty lady from Poland, Sonia, pretty lady from Paris, and um, Sonia, pretty lady from Berlin. So um, today um, is the second video. If you missed the first one, do, do watch the first video. The first thing that I want to be talking about is that I think that the biggest misconception in this industry for actors is to think that you guys don't have any power over what's happening. And I'm not just talking during COVID. I'm talking in general. I notice that actors, before they start doing, you know, I mean, the work that we do in our community, which is very different, but when they come to us and when they start explaining where they're at and what they're feeling, before they start doing the work, I notice a huge, you know, a feeling of a powerlessness, like there's nothing I can do. I don't have any auditions or my agent is not bringing me the type of auditions that I want or the casting milieu is this way and that doesn't work for me or I don't have any connections and that's why I'm not working. So all of this is always present in the mindset for actors, but right now with COVID, it's completely amplified and I see so many actors really being pretty sure that they're powerless over what is happening. And so um, what we're going to be doing today is really look at the other side of the coin because in our community, I see people having their best year yet. And so I know that for those of you who are now in a place where they're suffering, where they're anxious, depressed, and feeling lost to what they can do, I know that you can make this shift because I see it every single day in our community, right? So I, I want to make sure that, that you realize that, you know, the problem that we mentioned yesterday is not the circumstance of the industry being shut down by COVID. That's just the fact. The truth is that you can choose how you perceive that situation. And if you take the position of the victim, which means the one who cannot do anything about it, you will stay there. And it doesn't feel great. In fact, it feels shitty. That's what I hear from you guys all the time. There's nothing I can do. I'm lost. No money, no projects, no passion, no creativity. And that's a terrible feeling. Now, on the other side, I'm seeing people who, instead of st staying in fear, dive deeper. They go deeper. Where do they go deeper? They start working on the only thing that they can control. It's themselves, on their instrument, on their resistance, on their fears, on their blocks, so that they can have access to their instinct. And when people do that, they get freed up and they get empowered. And when people are freed up and, and empowered, well, then they take action. And when they take action, they get the results, right? Inside of those circumstances, there is also a huge opportunity because the entertainment industry is not going to disappear. Storytelling is not going to disappear. It was there in the caves because people need it. Humans need to connect. They need to inspire each other. They need to explain and share the things they've discovered with others. That's what we do as humans. So now more than ever, now that we're lost, that we don't know what's happening, that we are completely uncertain about what's happening, now more than ever, we want and we need to connect, to find strength in each other, to share, to inspire each other. So the opportunity is the entertainment industry is probably going to boom. Um, in Cannes this year, there was a fear that there was not going to be enough projects. There was more projects than ever. 
There was more content in Cannes Film Festival than ever. This year, Netflix has put more money on the table for projects and TV shows than ever. The type of budgets that were put in movies, you know, to go to movie theater, like I think Netflix has put between four and six, I can't remember, maybe it's four, maybe it's six, maybe it's five, um, four times $200 million on the table for different projects, which they've never done before. So the entertainment industry is not only going to disappear, it is going to transform with what's happening. People are home more, people need more entertainment. People are more anxious because of what's happening. They do need to connect more with other humans. They need storytelling, they need mythology. They, human need that connection to move forward. If not, they are frozen by themselves, right? So I really want us to be aware that I'm not talking there's a challenge and therefore there's an opportunity in a woo-woo way. Those are the facts. That is the truth. Cannes Film Festival, which is one of the biggest festivals in the world, had more content than ever. Netflix is putting more money than ever on the table. So content is going to happen. The entertainment industry is not going to disappear. However, it will morph. It will transform and no one knows how. We're all figuring it out as we go in studios and productions and little and big. Everyone is figuring it out and they will because they just cannot die. Considering the fact that everything is transforming because everything is alive and it's going with what's happening. You guys as actors need to be, to be ready for that. You need to be ready in your instrument for God knows what. We don't know how shootings are going to happen. We don't know if you're going to be secluded during six months when you're going to shoot a TV show and you're going to be away from your family and there's going to be a level of stress on the set that no one's ever met before, that no one's ever been before. Everything will change and therefore you cannot wait for the industry to knock on your door because you won't be ready. The industry is transforming as we speak and you have to work on yourself right now or not. If you're not going to work on yourself right now, in my opinion, you should stop because everything will become so much more challenging, so different, so the process of production and of filming, everything will be different. So if you're not ready right now, in your instinct, in your true self, in, in, the, in the essence of what it means to be a human being and to adapt, you're not gonna be ready at all. You won't be able to adapt. If you are an artist in your core, in your heart, and there's nothing else you could do, right now, is the moment where you upgrade yourself. Right now is the moment where you get ready for a very unexpected future. Because if you're not ready for that future, you won't last and others will. So it's like the natural selection. Happened with animals, it's, it's, it's happening with the industry, right? So some people are already doing that. And some of those ladies are right here right now and we're gonna you know have a little bit of an open mic and and share what you guys have discovered that you were able to do by working on yourself that you wouldn't have a, <laughs> that you wouldn't have had access to if you hadn't done the work on yourself right some people are having their best year already so this is now the time for these ladies to um to share what they've been doing um, Sonia, you just finished something new. Please share with us briefly what you've done for your instrument and what is the result and what is the future to be expected because this job was big and you did it so incredibly well that they are saying that they're wanting to work with you again. And you have never done this before. So it's a, it's a, it's, it's a new way to work as an actress for you. Okay. Yeah. 
That's true. Yeah. So how I prepared myself? Well, I did some trainings with you, first of all. And also during the COVID period and just afterwards the confinement in France, I've decided to stop doing things that wouldn't suit me anymore. Mm -hmm. So that means that I made decisions that were quite big and important to me. Mm -hmm. Like I decided to stop working on three different projects because mm -hmm. it's three now. Yeah. <laughs> and because I uh, freed some time in my, in my schedule and some energy too, it allowed me to put my energy in something different. Mm -hmm. And I felt, I, I listened to my intuition, intuition and I felt, I understood that I had to work in the voice industry, mm -hmm. but I didn't know how. So I just started taking like tricks there or there. And then I, I, I took them and then I just kept doing things like, I was decided, you know, and I yeah. was decided and I also had time. Yeah. And then at some point... And, and, and if yeah. I can interrupt you, um, Sylvia, what I'm hearing you say is you were in a place that didn't really work for you because you were doing a lot of different projects that weren't actually in, in tune, in line with you anymore. And, and I do want to acknowledge everyone going through this COVID thing, when we have a lot of emotions like that and a lot is happening, it's difficult to make decisions. It's really challenging to see clearly. But then when you start working on yourself, when you start listening to yourself, working on your resistance, on your block, on your instinct, then you start to get clarity. Then you're reconnected. Then you're like, oh, wait, well, why am I putting all my energy there? It's, it's not even... That's not even what I want to do. And you can hear your truth, which was, I want to start working with my voice for books and documentaries. And that was true to your core. Yeah. And now I can say that today, but I realized that it drew energy out of me. Yeah, of course. And if I hadn't stopped those projects, I wouldn't have been able to do what no. I've done today. And you, you, yes. you were able to stop those projects because you... Not because you made those projects wrong, because you no. worked on yourself. That's the only goody you have is yourself. The rest is, is the rest. It's the external stuff. When you work on yourself, you get the clarity. You get the answers. You get the wisdom of what you need to do. Like my head was telling me, okay, Sonia, it's the confinement, COVID period and all that. So it's totally... I'm mad to stop working on projects right now because you won't get any more. Yeah, I remember that. So my head was telling me that. But my instrument was telling me, it wasn't telling me. I could feel that I, I didn't want to do it anymore. Mm. I didn't feel motivated by it. I just thought, okay, I just, I just thought I had to get going on with that because it was how it worked. Yeah. So I think so what you're saying is very, yeah, it was very clear what didn't work for you. And then all of that wasted energy is then coming back to you and you were able to show up so present, so you, yeah. so authentic, so free in this new yeah. type of jobs that made sense for you, that people noticed yeah. you straight away. You got, it's so, just to share because people don't know, Sonia just got finished at reading an audiobook of 500 pages as her first contract. And I can brag for you because I know and, and I've heard you during the week that you were reporting. They were amazed by your presence. They were. And that's your work. That's not let me wait until the industry figures it out and then I'll show up again. No, that's you. You generated that work. You showed up for that work. You were incredible during that work. And the feedback is they really loved you and they want to work more with you. That's incredible. Yeah. That's, that's not being a victim. That's being empowered. Yeah. So it, re it required going through different, you know, going yeah. above different obstacles. Obstacles, right? obstacles yeah. But uh, once it's done, then it, it becomes so natural and free and free. flowing and yeah. nearly easy, actually, yes. you know? Absolutely. A lot of people say it's easy once they, you know, they're reset to be the fully functional, right? And 
I had to be totally present because being 500 pages in a few days, when like, you've never done you it. have to go straight. You, you really have to go straight to do all the characters and all that. And if I hadn't been present to what I had done, it, it would have been like a reading, you know, like yeah. reading well a text. Yeah. Well, that's exactly, it's a perfect example of you got ready for something you didn't know was coming, but when yeah. it landed on your table, which some people will call luck and it has nothing to do with luck because you generated that project, you were able to show up for it, which is very different than I'm going to stay in fear, which again, I'm not saying it's wrong. It's just that it doesn't work for people. And that's why people are so anxious and depressed. It doesn't work for them. And if you're working on yourself, then when the new project that you've never done and you have no idea how to do it, when it shows up with all the challenges, you rise to the occasion because you have worked on yourself. Right? Okay, great. Thank you for sharing that. Um, Marie. Hello. Marie from <laughs> Berlin. Hi. So, um, Marie, you've booked your biggest job ever. So far, yep, I did, during this whole crazy pandemic. All right. And not just that, I mean, I can talk about that in a minute, but I wanted to add that during this time, I did a theater production. Mm -hmm. I was probably one of the first persons to actually be on stage again. Mm -hmm. um, and I got an agent, mm -hmm. which I had been longing to get for years now. Amazing. Um, and I did a short movie online yeah. shooting last which which we interviewed you for last week so yeah. now can you um can you also um do you also clearly see and it's really a free invitation to to brag because because this is this is really a result of what you guys generated so can you clearly see how all of these amazing results, the play, the biggest role, the agent that you've been looking for, can you see how that is a result of working on yourself? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. And what's absurd is that I don't remember the times before right now. So it, I don't feel this transformation that present because it's the new normal to me. Yeah. But when I think about myself in, I don't know, March, I was so angry. I was angry at the industry. Then this mm -hmm. pandemic hit and I was, I was just sitting around being angry at everything and yeah. nothing happened. Of course, no. it couldn't have happened. Nothing yeah. happens. It has, yeah. you, you have to be the one who makes the first step. The industry is figuring itself out. You have to figure yourself out and upgrade and reset and be like fully ready for anything. And then, Yes, you're ready. Things show up and you're ready. The agent shows up, you're ready. The play, the movie that you made together in the community and this great role. It's incredible. Yeah, it did. And I, when it came, I felt so ready for it. And yet there were thoughts like, oh my God, I really need to step up my, step up my game for this. I really have to be this superhero actress right yeah. now. And I don't know how to be that. But I was able to identify this thought and just put it into my acting. So mm. they weren't holding me back. They weren't mm. frightening me. And even afterwards, I know there could have been thought like, well, this was just a lucky win or mm. anything like that. And I, I can see that now with a clarity that allows me to just relax into the happiness that yeah. comes from all this yeah. or to relax into the anger that might show up again. But yeah. um, really being able to act with anything I have going on yeah. is so new to me. Yeah. Um, that was crazy. But this um, is really, it, it this is free. really, really alive because oftentimes as humans, we think we can control things. And oftentimes as actors, people, you know, that or, it's a certain category of actors are trying to control what's going to happen. There is, this, it's absurd. It, it, this, you couldn't be further from the truth than when you try to control. Life is not controllable. We're always going to be these little things that are playing around for a little bit and then we're out. So it really is, okay, well now it's really, really alive. We have no idea what's going to happen. Considering those yeah. circumstances, if you sharpen yourself, if you deepen your work, then everything's possible. And you guys are the proof. Yeah, of and I, I can say I, I um, really felt how 
easy it was to be clear about things because mm -hmm. the, the casting for that it just came to me when I had lots of stuff going on and I knew I had only six hours to do it spontaneously and mm -hmm. it was so important to me mm -hmm. and I instantly knew that's possible yeah. that's no problem I'm here I'm yeah. already here yeah. I called a friend she held the camera we did it and I loved it and that was very important to me too that I liked the casting I wasn't about it wasn't about getting the job it was about yeah, yeah you know I want to be seen by that yeah, casting no, no, director because no. I love her work and With she's being important. present but mostly it was about yeah me liking what I did mm -hmm. afterwards and yeah. I haven't reached that point before very often and now it just feels like the new normal yeah and I love that. it is it is so, so Margaret you're you're um you're everything you're an actress, you're an acting teacher, you're a casting director. So tell us a little bit about, um, um, well, you've just deepened your work too, right? You have a PhD in acting, but you just recently reset and, and um, I'm going to make your <clears throat> video uh, the main one so we see you. You've recently um, reset and kind of revisited everything that you know as a very educated actress. And so I'm interested in you sharing about that, um, doing that work, risking that, deepening that during this crazy pandemic. And also I'm interested in your perspective from the other side as a casting director um, and how the industry is figuring itself out. So I was just, I was just <coughs> listening to the girls and uh, it's like, uh, I just realized that before the uh, pandemic started, I was like also like doing so many things around, like you said, like I'm doing everything. Uh, but I was missing acting so much because I wasn't focused on acting. I was focused on so many things, like mm -hmm. Sonia just said. And actually this pandemic helped me because I started to like watch all the different stuff in the internet or all those webinars and getting back and back and back to what I really want and I start to even have my uh, coaching uh, process with someone just because like I, I'm getting to the core that this is what is my uh, the most important thing, thing for me, mm -hmm. acting. Mm -hmm. um, and then the rest the reset uh, helped me i mean you know i still don't know how it will work with my acting actually because uh uh i'm i'm, I'm still uh in the moment that uh i haven't had the uh, the opportunity you to haven't take had it. the job yet yeah yeah but i i feel that this connection that i'm getting with myself it's also just just telling me again, like, this is, this is you, this is what you want to do for, for, for the living. Of course, everything what I'm doing around, I mean, teaching and, uh, uh, and being a casting director, it of course involves acting too. And it's based on the acting actually, because I'm, I teach acting and I, when I'm working as a casting director, I had a lot of information from agencies and, and, and actors that it's great because they never had the possibility to be in the casting room or to have this feedback from casting directors that yeah. they know exactly mm -hmm. how is it to be on the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, so it everything like influenced. Uh, in, uh, yeah, it's all in, and so and what is uh, your and forth. what is your perspective as a casting director on you know what what type of actors are we going to be looking for? um in your industry specifically in poland uh, it might be the same as everywhere but what's your take on that like if you could venture into the future and look at well what yourself as a casting director in your industry think okay so what how is this going to affect what kind of actors we're going to be looking for you know there is this theory that uh, we have to we, we have to stop thinking like it was before. We have to think about how we can, for example, use these Zoom things yeah. and, and things like that. 
So the, the self-taping thing mm -hmm. is, is right now it's what is one of the most important yeah. thing to train actually yeah. uh, for uh, for actors and to be able to uh, to be so present mm -hmm. on this small uh, video yeah. that you can send to the person on the other side yeah. of the screen. Yeah all the power that you have yeah because the magic in the room is not happening anymore right that connection that chemistry so it's really in the world of self tapes now if you're not a hundred percent alive present instinctive and free it's just like they, people can't feel you on the other side so now more than exactly. ever yeah and it's also like the thing that people are saying, okay, so we are watching so many videos, so how can I stand out from yeah. the from the rest? Yeah. It's and not it, that you're thinking about, oh my God, I have to think about something extraordinary. No, because that's going to no. be fake. That people can perceive exactly. that that's fake. It's really your uniqueness and your uniqueness you can only cultivate by diving deeper, by going deeper into exactly. you and unlearning all the acting, unlearning all the learned behaviors and the conditioning so that you can get to your juice, right? To the nectar of who you are. Mm -hmm. And when you have that and you train that, that's the only thing people can see. Yes, and this is what, what you have to put yeah. through, the, through, the, through the screen. And, uh, and this is exactly, it's not, it, it's not about the thinking, overthinking, no. or creating something no. which is, like I said, like fireworks. Yeah, it's not the, about the acting most, anymore. Yeah, the, the most, uh, I mean, because we are always searching for the something. Mm -hmm. And you can see it from the beginning, before you were saying that, in the in the first minutes that if someone when someone yeah. is coming into the room we we'll know exactly yeah uh, but right now when we are we have just the those small screens yeah and we don't know how long it will take no. actually because it works like this i think it will it will still work even though for like for the first uh, level of the uh, of the casting of the auditions, we will be sending. Uh, uh, we will be sending self tapes. Yeah. So it's like really, really important to, and being authentic and 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 honest through yeah. this uh, tool. Yeah. It's 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 the it's the new. It's the normal. new normal. <laughs> it's the new normal. Yeah. And and I, and I hear still so many people are interested in their instinct, right? They come in the group, in the instinctive actors group or on Instagram and say, yeah, I really want to be instinctive. I want to work on my instinct. And then we say, okay, great. We have this program. It's online. It's sort of, oh, no, I don't want to be online. I want, I, I want to, you know, I want to be in, with the teacher. And I, it, it's, it's over. It doesn't exist anymore. You have to... Yeah, have but actually, this is, this is another challenge of this process i mean uh, for me i'm just starting to also notice that this thing that we have this facebook group and yeah. we are uploading a lot of stuff mm -hmm. we are uh, we are starting to be like to to know how to use yes. it this is one thing but to feel it yes, yes. how it works yes. and uh, how this how also watching the other participants yeah. when they are authentic and honest and how it works on me yeah i can see it's, it's how a, yeah. how this how this power how powerful works. it is yeah and you you got to do this work now which is why i really want actors who are right now stuck in the you know in the in the sensations of it's too scary this, nothing's happening i don't want to do anything i don't if 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 the industry is not going to shoot why should i you know, invest in myself. Oh my God, it's moving so fast. You, you guys are already, you know, getting the results of this new industry. If you don't do it now, in my opinion, it's, it's over. If you wait for them to come and get you, there'll be so many actors that are ready and used to this new technology, used to be so much more present. I mean, presence was already the most important thing before. But now it's the only thing that's left. So if you don't have it and you are a good actor and you, you know, you can analyze scenes really well and you're, you're, 
really good at figuring out what emotions oh shit everyone can read through that all we want is presence your instinct your rawness your authenticity that's the only thing that's left yeah and also what marie said the the, e the easiness of jumping into it mm -hmm. like straight away yeah no uh, matter what you feel because it's also the matter of time right now. It, yeah. it will not be like I'm sitting in the room and you have 20 minutes yeah. so we can work on it. No, yeah. you're, you just have to jump into yeah. and the, next. The, the times are going to be, you know, these productions are waiting to shoot, waiting to shoot. Content is being written. When the gates are going to open, you're going to have an inbox flooding with auditions and you'll have no time to prepare them. So are you going to be ready for that? Or are you going to be like, oh, no, well, I couldn't get it. They're crazy. They gave me an hour. Well, some people are going to do it because they're getting ready right now. Right. So I think I I also wanted to I made a list of the things that I'm hearing in the group that people are already doing in this new industry economy, which I think is um, relevant for me to read because um, because, again, I, I'm, I'm really um, wanting the people who feel stuck in fear and blocked and powerless and feel like victims of what is happening to switch to the other side and and realize that there's tangible things are happening so you you can go to the other side you just need to do the work to deepen your practice and that's what's on the other side people are doing audio drama podcasts sonia's doing audiobooks People are doing a lot of self tapes I hear and then go for callbacks in the room. Um, some Zoom movies, some Zoom plays. Uh, Yolanda and Casimiro were just in the biggest theater in Spain or the biggest festival theater in Spain for the first time after also both deepening their work. Um, uh, another actress is writing a comedy drama that's first going to be a podcast right now because of confinement before it goes to the visual uh, chapter, wow. but, but she's writing it, right? So again, also, you, some of you might be saying, no, but I'm, I'm just an actor, I'm not a writer, and, and, and we need the writers or the producers to, to, to do the work. No, even when you're a level actor, you'll especially when you're up there, Will Smith is producing all the time, why? Because he wants to have an impact on what's being said, on what the kind of movies he wants to shoot. You don't sit there and wait. You do it. You have one life. It, it's not going to happen later. It's right now. Reese Witherspoon is producing all the time. Um, ben Affleck and Matt Damon, I don't know, was that 20 or 30 years ago that they just improvised together and wrote their scenes and wrote one of the most amazing movies together. This is in your wheelhouse. You can do this because you're storytellers. So... It, it doesn't take you to have studied writing to write. People are doing it all the time. So um, uh, people are mentioning how they have a new level of connection to their characters and they're killing their auditions and their self-tape. People are sharing in the group that they are connecting with a level of self-worth and self-love that they didn't even know existed. They're... Like, I see them crying on the video saying, I've, I never loved myself this way. I never knew it was even possible to love myself this way. And I see you all smiling because I know you're in that group and you see those videos. <laughs> I'm not making it up, right? It's just like incredible. Um, Marie, biggest role ever. People talking about complete transformation, healing, healing their asthma, their depression, their anxiety, stopping their pills because they're deepening the work on themselves. Um... Yeah, so some people are actually spending this time also to revise their material, to work on themselves and then realize, oh, I can do much better for my reel, so I'm going to reshoot. Some people using stuff they shoot in the group to put in their reel and therefore connecting with new agents, taking new meetings with new team to get ready for what's coming. Uh, some people deepening you know, their connections and work in voiceover uh, and getting ready for those, those auditions because there's a lot of them. Some people are finding new jobs, money jobs, unrelated to acting. Because when you're clear, you're not in the victim mode and you're not, you know, just in fear, not knowing what to do. You become proactive. 
you're clear. So you find solutions, you find new jobs, you make money, money comes in, it's easier than to do your acting. Um, shooting your own series, shooting your own shorts, uh, people doing um, casting director workshops and coming back with incredible feedback like and saying, oh my God, this is the work I did by deepening you know, the connection to myself and my instinct. People opening themselves up to new markets inside the industry, new countries, new countries, why not? No one can move, everything's gonna be done on Zoom and on tape. You can do that. You can actually, when you have the strength, when you're empowered, when you're unblocked, unresistant, when you're free, when you're clear, you will be able to take those actions. Um, people are shooting their own documentaries in the group. Uh, some people are auditioning for series regulars. So, as a summary, um, yeah, something is happening. The roof is broken. Are you going to work on your roof or are you just going to run away, right? Which is okay to run away. It's not wrong. I'm not saying you're a better person if you stay, but it's a moment to actually deepen, be truthful. And, and deepen your connection to yourself and go, okay, so what am, am I going to stay here? If I'm going to stay here, I need to upgrade now. Opportunity is bigger than ever. The entertainment industry is transforming itself as we speak. And you need to up your game to make sure that you're ready for it. Some people are ready for it now. They're here. Some of them are in the group and are already enjoying the transformation. And, and, and as it will completely blossom and open, there is already more money on the table. There is more content. Everything that hasn't been shot will have to be shot soon and fast and boom, boom, boom. Are you ready for that? If you're not, now's the time for you to do that essential work to work on yourself. So if you're interested in this and if this makes sense, if you want to do this work, you can get on our wait list. You click the link below. And as soon as we open enrollment, we'll let you know.